This is third part of WooCommerce Flutter video. In the previous video, we did beautiful product screen and in video previous to that, we did category screen. Both the previous video links you can find in video description. And if you want to support us, you can get the source code for just dollar one. In this part of video, we will go through cart screen, add to cart and remove from cart feature. Also, we will calculate total of all products added to cart. For all these, we will use providers, the default state management solution offered by Flutter. Now let's go through the new features we have added. First, let's see how our app is working. So the emulator is getting started and soon we will run our app and see how it's working. So this category screen we have done in our first video and if we click on any of the categories we go to the respective products in that category and this was done in our second video and in this part we have done the add to cart feature so if I click on add to cart button you can see that this cart count of products are increasing we can go to any of the categories and we can add product to cart and when we click on the cart we go to the cart screen and here also we can increase the quantity and if we want we can decrease the quantity as well if we have only one product in the cart then if we decrease the quantity it will get removed from cart and here is the total of all these products getting calculated if I remove all the products then the total should be zero so everything is working fine and this is how things are working and adding this feature of add to cart or this cart feature to our app was all about state management and if you can see here that uh, change notifier provider is used to wrap this uh, my app that is the top level widget of this app is wrapped with change notifier provider so you must have understood that we have used provider to manage the app uh, sorry to manage the state and in the category screen we are not uh, you have we haven't made any changes but in the product screen uh, we have made a couple of changes and yeah one more thing is that we have used uh, generated routes in our application with uh, providers because there was a requirement for passing parameters uh, in the init function because in products we have used pagination and uh, pagination part of the pagination code was being used in the init function of the widget the init state so you can see that if we go to the product we have infinite scroll feature implemented so this was to, um, uh, to maintain this uh, feature to keep this feature intact we had to uh, use generated routes and uh, if you if I go to the cart screen which is the screen we did in this part of video you can see the cart screen is here 
and uh, we have a we have a view model for doing the the state management you can see we have inherited change notifier here and that is what is used for this complete cart thing because WooCommerce doesn't have any inbuilt uh, cart API so we have to manage everything uh, using the states and now since uh, our cart is in place we can uh, we can implement the place order feature so we can in the next video maybe we can make this pay uh, feature active and we can uh, implement any of the payment gateway and the user will be able to make payment and place order uh, yeah one more screen we have to do is that user should be able to enter his order details like address phone number email etc in the next screen and once he has entered all those details then he should be able to complete the payment and make the make a successful order apart from that i was also thinking to do this complete cart feature in a different state management uh, in a different state management that is getx because getx is very famous and is very much used with flutter so i think uh, it, it's a good idea to make two variations of this cart one using the providers which is the inbuilt uh, state management of flutter and uh, the another is getx uh, getx is one of the highest rated uh, uh, package in the uh, on pubdev flutter If I go to, you can see the number of likes, so many likes are there for this package. So in the next video either uh, I will be doing this place order feature or getx feature, uh, the state management using getx, either of the way I think it will be uh, a great thing and I hope you like this video and this we are gradually we are making this script. Uh, uh, rich with features and uh, I hope you if you go for the code or if you are go if you want your website to be converted into a application easily just by putting a endpoint of your website a WooCommerce website then you can just go for this script and I think it will be very useful for you if you want to learn how to make a e-commerce website using a WooCommerce backend then also this script will be very useful for you and that will be a way for you to support us go for the script or code of this application and it will all it will support us thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have liked the video do subscribe to the ch channel for and stay tuned for the next video thank you